your stress level is contributing to your leaky gut. And science proves this to be true. What happens is when we get into a high cortisol state, normally this is reserved for the primary stressor that most humans have been exposed to over the last half a million years, and that is starvation. What happens is when our cortisol goes up, we begin to catabolize the rest of our body. We break down our muscles into amino acids, our bones into minerals, and our fats into energy to keep us alive. We are basically sacrificing and melting our body to stay alive, and that is all driven by the cortisol response. The other thing that happens is if we're not finding food, it doesn't make sense for our heart to deliver 20% of the cardiac output, which is typically what is delivered after a meal, to our gut. So what happens is in a high cortisol state, we divert blood away from our gut. Lacking blood along the lining of our gut, we are not able to successfully replicate every three to five days the delicate cell layer that lines the gut, and then we develop increasing leakiness. One of the number one things that you can do to begin to improve your gut health is work on your stress response. What happens is cortisol diverts blood away from these splanchnic blood vessels, and then we begin to develop some leakiness as we are not able to maintain these important gap junctions between the cells. As always, I'm making these videos to empower you guys to understand your health, make good decisions, and to heal without using drugs. And as always, I will see you guys in another video, and take care.